All right, boring food be gone. We're gonna put flavored salts and sauces in our end of summer food. It's gonna be delicious and healthy. Because I have with us Rita Carey Rubin. Nice oh, to have you on, honey. Nice to be here always. Dietitian, diabetes counselor, you like you doll, and you cook. You I cook do. beautifully, which I absolutely love. Now, thank you. It's, you're the host of Your Healthy Kitchen mm -hmm. for YRMC as all, and so we're yep. saying this is our healthy kitchen because you are here. Now, I don't know, I am not, a, I, mean, I can cook with a recipe, but to do it myself, I don't know how to make bland food exciting. Uh. I think you're saying flavored salts and sauces are my answer, right, sure. Rita? Yeah. All right. Where do I where start? Where do you start yes. with salt? Um, you know, I cook with salt because it really brings out the natural flavor in the food. And and when you cook using you know, a little bit in the beginning, a little bit in the middle, and then maybe a little in the end, you actually use less salt oh. than if you just wait till the end to pour it all know, pour in. it all on. Yeah. So it's so a little pinch. I mean, little pinches really make a difference. And um, I have found this amazing recipe. I have this this cookbook that I fell in love with. It's called Afro Vegan. Wow! And it's written by Bryant Terry and uh, vegan all vegan recipes, and just filled with flavor. And and so his recipe for basil salt is in there. Basil salt. Basil okay, salt. so that means if you make mm -hmm. a basil salt and then you're cooking something, you don't have to add basil necessarily because yeah, you your that, salt, it's already in yeah, there. Yeah, but it's about layering flavor when you cook. So, um, How do you do this? It's actually this is fascinating. Really easy. So it's uh, about equal amounts of basil. So this is about a half a cup of packed basil uh -huh. and a little shy a half a cup of uh, coarse salt. Oh, yeah. And we'll just whip it up in the food processor. Sorry, this will be right. loud. No, I see. <laughs> Look at that. It actually like isn't blends. That, isn't in. that gorgeous? Yes. So how does this last and stuff? Does, it you know, lasts. Because of the basil. It lasts for months and, oh. and it maintains the color too. Oh, it smells so good. Isn't it? Isn't that oh, my wonderful? heavens. Yes, it yeah. smells. Yeah, mm. basil. Delicious. And um, simply spread it out on a baking sheet. This is just lined with a little parchment paper. So it's going to be like a dehydration thing, yeah. kind of. Now you're going to dry it out Dry again. it out, 175 degree oven for 10 minutes. Wow. And then leave it in the oven for about an hour. Turn the oven off. And what you get looks like, looks like How that. How fabulous. Now, what would I use this on, let's say? Oh, Can I taste some? Yeah, sure, definitely. Oh, I love salt. I'm a salt addict, sorry. Mm. So uh, it actually cuts the sodium in half actually, because you, you, you've been blending so it with, with the basil. So right. sprinkle it on really anything that you like, that you sprinkle salt on and you might like a little basil flavor. So, And, and you know some, it's not uh, overpowering. No. Mm. Yeah. Except now I need to now drink you need water. Drink water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so a little, uh, you know, a little on some fresh mozzarella and some tomatoes there. Again, you, you get drizzle. the color and it's very intense. I mean, mm -hmm. in, in, because you're still getting it, and yet it's not, um, it's easier. You don't have to have fresh basil on hand all the time. Yeah, love yeah. it. It stays for months. And I, I played with some different uh, ingredients. I made a roasted red chili salt. Same process. Same deal. You put the same amount of coarse salt with mm -hmm. your chili, let's yep. say, a liquid chili yep. or, or, you know, chunky wet. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Yep. You have to bake it a little longer because yeah. it's more, there's more moisture. And that's a garlic chive salt. So really. Oh, you're having fun with yeah, this whole I was salt fun. thing, aren't yep. you? Once no I kidding. found that recipe, I was all <laughs> over the place. You can do it with everything. So, yeah. Like everything works for that. Yeah. So salt, oh. just, just to add flavor, add color. You know, a little visual. You know, interest. this is, look at your autumn colors here. I mean, mm -hmm. this is so, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited about autumn right now. I put all my leaves up and my little pumpkins, and you know, I'm like, and, and the breeze was blowing. It was so it's autumn this last the weekend. It was perfect, yeah. too, wasn't it? And so now I'm into reds and oranges, and yeah, I mean, this is our autumn colors. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. peppers, look so at peppers. these gorgeous red peppers. Yeah, so I use, I love red peppers in sauces. It's so easy. Uh, with the bell, red bell peppers, what I did is uh -huh. roast them. And, and you just put those in your oven? Just or? in the oven, about okay. 400 degrees. Uh, it takes about an hour total, about half an hour on each side. I flip them over and you want them to get nice and charred like that. Ah, because that adds flavor on it that adds skin. adds flavor, and okay. then the skin comes off really easily. Oh, so, um, I see. To make a pepper puree, which can be a sauce just by itself, you, uh, you just remove the skin and then open it up and remove the seeds. Oh, okay. And, and just throw the pepper in a food processor with a little bit of olive oil. And if you want, you can add a little nice. salt. 
Okay. He doesn't really need it. And uh, a perfect, perfect sauce for roasted vegetables or a grilled chicken or fish. Um, it's it's really versatile. And is, is this then your finished product? That's it's what that product. looks like, isn't that yeah, lovely? Yeah, that's the red pepper. And super nutritious. All those red colors are really good for you. Oh, so, I didn't really know that. So yeah. the actual pigment makes the a difference pigment, in yeah. the nutritional value yeah, of it yeah. as well. Yeah, it's a pigment called lycopene, and it's a super duper antioxidant, probably the strongest antioxidant really? out there. And also anti-inflammatory and, and beautiful and delicious now as see, well. See, when you cook, you're actually thinking, now this will be good for me in this way, this way, and that way. I'm just thinking, right. let's see. What do I do? How do I make it taste good? But you've got all this background. Yeah, I try you to think about the nutrition and the flavor. You know, now I was thinking about something today. I, because you do uh, diabetes education mm -hmm. too, I thought, should we all, even if we're not diabetic, should we eat like diabetics? I, absolutely. What, I yes. Mean, is yes. that bizarre? Is the eating no. a lot different? Well, you know, what if, is it, Rita? It, a diet for someone with diabetes is probably the healthiest diet ever. It's you know yeah. kind of a Mediterranean style diet, very much plant based, lots of color. I tell my patients eat the colors of the rainbow. Think about you know have greens oh. and reds and oranges and yellows and purples and blues and sure everybody I think should eat that way. Interesting. So colorful. It mm -hmm. not only looks good, but this is going to be good for you. And you kind of yeah. cut out sugars and sweets and that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, at least I guess. at least shrink them down. Yeah. You know, a little bit of sh a sugar now and then is no big deal. I think it's really with sugar, it's the quantity. It's like how much yeah. do we eat and how often? Sure. Now, Never. with fall here, yeah. obviously, when you go shopping, should you look for certain things that, like seasonal things? Because, you know, we are so lucky in the sense that we have everything all the time, all year. To, to us, there's not like, when you go to the farmer's market, you get a sense of real what is seasonal. Yeah. But yeah, so just get out there, go for your colors and, and see what's what's blooming now. Right, and you're right, the <laughs> farmer's market is perfect for staying right. with what's YRMC.org, get mm -hmm. on there, you can find all kinds of great things and your healthy kitchen too. And Rita Carey Rubin, thanks for joining oh, us. Oh, a pleasure always. All right, find Thank you on you. Facebook too? Yes. All right, YRMC.